Hey everyone, I am up to day six, I think, and I wanted to check in with you guys today around don't become so myopic that you miss the bliss on the way. So what I mean is learning to fly a helicopter taught me heaps of stuff. And one of the biggest things it taught me was around what happens when you have to plan the bejesus out of stuff. What happens when you, and, and this is what you have to do to learn how to navigate a helicopter, is you have to get every map out, the bigger maps, the smaller maps, you have to match them up. You have to plan exactly where you are, exactly where you need to go, all of the different permissions that you need to get along the way. You need to get rel you have to get relative heights. You have to manage the amount of fuel and the amount of weight on board. You need to control a lot of things. But when you get in the helicopter, the flight plan kind of goes out the window. You know the direction that you need to get, the, the heading that you need to get. But then things kind of happen, like clouds appear and we're not allowed to fly through clouds as a helicopter pilot. And other things appear, winds, gusts, uh, permissions or not permissions. We've got all sorts of things that come in the way. And I think it's a great analogy for life that you can become so myopic. You can go, yes, this is my goal. Yes, this is the thing I want to do today. Like I did for today. I wanted to get some things done for my business. But things happen. Life happens. People, uh, you know, you have to do certain things with your family. You've got to do certain things to look after stuff. And inspiration comes along. I got so much painting done today. It was amazing. And this is the thing. Uh, I, I learned this amazing um, facilitation technique that if you were to look at everything in your screen right now and everything around you and you were to see all of the blue things, count how many blue things they are, see how many they are, what type of blues they are, have a look around what's up there and what's up there and what's down here and what am I wearing, like what's with the blue? Then I want you to close your eyes and I want you to consider how many yellow things did you see and what do they mean? This is the thing when we become so focused on the one thing, when we become so focused on business or we become so focused on that number on the weight scale or we become so focused on that thing that we become so myopic that we miss all of the epicness on the outside. We miss that red, we miss that yellow, we miss that green, we miss that blue. I mean, it's happening right now with um, racism and the shift to Black Lives Matter as well. That myopic view is becoming really, really obvious so that uh, a lot of us, me included, have been so myopic that we're missing out on the value that's created through being multicultural, being diverse, being um, opening up to all of that. And the same with your goals and your dreams for your life and your vision for your health, your wealth and the future. What happens there? What could you open up to today? Where is inspiration trying to niggle at you? To Where is your muse trying to dance with you? Where is nature trying to play with you? And sometimes it can be hidden in procrastination. You're like, oh, I'm procrastinating. But in actual fact, you know, I got an artwork done today. Oh, I cooked an amazing meal for my family. I connected with people that I hadn't in a while. So what's happening for you today? Where could you follow your bliss and uh, let loose the myopic vision so that you can let in the things that are really powerful and trying to get your attention, but you're so focused on the other stuff that they might, the value of it might not just be permeating into your life. I'm looking forward to talking to you tomorrow. Let me know down below. What have you missed? What have you become really myopic about? And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.